Hello everybody, this is Sensei Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Gotham Knights. Last time you remember, we made our way to the Belfry, got the computer working on analyzing the data we found, and went out on our first patrol after leveling up Batgirl to this rather impressive new suit and gear. And we are getting ready to make our way into GCPD headquarters as stealthily as possible. Because nobody here ever checks the roof. Okay, it looks like they want me to use a particular entrance. Okay, somehow we did not get spotted doing that. We're supposed to go through the garage, aren't we? Okay, the marker it's giving me is that way. Well, I will give them this. They do give you options for getting around the place. Here we go.
damn door is stuck again. No, can't open or close it. No, I'm not gonna fix it myself. Okay, well, took a while to find the path they wanted us to take, but we did eventually get it done. database entry. Let's see, Belfry Union Station. The Union Station was completed in 1902 and became the hub of Gotham City Intramural Railway, later known as Gotham City Rail. The clock tower was commissioned by my great-great-grandfather, Alan Wayne, in 1898, but it was condemned about 10 years ago for safety purposes. When Barbara was paralyzed, I wanted to give her a space you could use to conduct her own work as Oracle. As the Union Station been abandoned for several years, it seemed like a perfect place. This is located in the heart of a city. So I retrofitted the space in the clock tower to contain everything Barbara could need. Then Alfred helped me make it accessible for her as long as she needed it. Though the Belfry isn't being used anymore, it means a good secondary base in case the Bat Cave were to be destroyed. And Historic Gotham, GCPD. Central, this is the central precinct of the Gotham City Police Department, houses the detective division where Renee Montoya works. Central patrol and allows pre-trial holding for the Gotham City Courthouse. The bat signal used to sit on the rooftop of the building, but was taken down when Catherine Kane became the new police commissioner. Many of the vents and windows I used to sneak through the building have been blocked or shut closed, which makes accessing the building more difficult. Unfortunately, since Jim Gordon's death, corruption seems to have risen in the ranks. One of the main reasons for this was the creation of the Major Crimes Unit, an armored task force devoted, dedicated to stopping vigilantes and criminals alike. Officers in this division often abuse their power, known to take bribes. It's safe to say that cooperation between vigilantes and the GCPD is a fit now officially at an end. And got another profile here. The Mob, Batman's work... Four Scotham's crime syndicates work together as one organization. They have a respected legacy and deep pockets. Okay, so find a way past the security I station. They'd let me use the front door. Now, where was the morgue again? Blueprints put the morgue on the other side of the bullpen. Be careful not to be seen on the way.
I see a security camera right there. And yeah, seeing hostiles there. It's not letting me stealth anymore. Oh, well, now it is. Holding cells. Yeah, going this way strikes me as a bad idea. It's the only way I can go, so... Yeah, not much for exploration this game, I'm finding. I'm trying to be stealthy, but yeah, sure, let's just go ahead and crouch back up. Eat the student body! Barbecue the rich! Make it spicy! I swear, cross my taker. I grew an ear on my shoulder. Shut up or I'm coming in. You fell off, and then I eat. Leave that crap to yourself, weirdo. What I wouldn't give to see that signal in the sky again. Let's see, the bad signal was how the late Commissioner James Gordon sent a Batman at GCP HQ. Even as time went on, the relationship developed beyond the need for it. Jim was still used as a symbol. He used to say it was a promise to the people of Gotham City that Batman was out there and that they were protected. He also called on a warning at General Most of Season World, just try something and see what happens. Following Jim's passing, new Commissioner Catherine Kane had the bad signal removed from the roof and submitted into evidence. I guess the cat was finally dragged in. Diamonds stolen by Catwoman. Stolen diamonds, Selena Kyle. Following notes, several pounds of diamonds stolen from Gotham City Jewelers and Old Gotham in a heist, one of several suspected have been performed by the serial cat burglar, Selena Kyle. Hey, Scarface. No, thank you. Ventriloquist dummy, suspect Peyton Riley, a.k.a. the Ventriloquist. Ooh, the second ventriloquist, no less. Nice shout-out. A wooden ventriloquist no dummy known as Scarface sees from Peyton Riley, the daughter of Irish mob heavyweight Sean Riley. Peyton Riley becomes innocent against all charges against her, saying it was the dummy who was actually at fault. This includes two homicides. Let's hope that's the last we'll see of Ra's al Ghul. <laughs> Doubtful. Ceremonial garb found unidentified body recovered from Wayne Manor ruins includes cape and several 10 karat gold detailing. The costume appears to be quite old and is likely worth thousands. just to find various rewards. I hope it's not a mimic. just on the other side of the bullpen. Now would be a particularly bad time to be spotted. Security cameras can alert nearby enemies to your location, trigger reinforcements, or activate over security measures. 
Use AR to search for a control panel. Use the control panel to deactivate the camera. So yeah, reach the other side of the bullpen. Bonus for doing it undetected. Hostile, hostile. Camera, hackable. Makes me wish I had taken the hacking point. A police file in back row that contains numerous factual errors. A police file on the red hood that describes him as a dangerous criminal. I was thinking that blue light was a camera path. Okay, well, somebody got suspicious. Luck. 
locked, of course. Someone must have a key. The desk sergeant, perhaps. Pick up the sergeant's key card. And no way to a higher vantage point. One weakness, a gentle sloping ledge. Because I can't seem to jump this barrier for some reason. gives me a perch option. They've been digging pretty deep into Red Heart. Robin's file. They assume he's been one person the whole time.
my file. This wouldn't have cut it when a Gordon was in charge. I think that got everybody's files now. Jim Gordon's death, Catherine Kane became the new commissioner, and the GCPD became a lot more militarized and a lot less friendly to vigilantes. Unfortunately, it does not seem that we get to read those profiles after the fact. At least we got XP for that. Okay, well we got to the forensics wing. And this strikes me as a good place to stop for now, given that we're coming up on the half hour mark. But Thank you for watching so far. I hope you're enjoying this tense, stealthy adventure. And next time, we will make our way into the morgue.